It's an uphill battle. Yeah, it's right. That's right! And we're feeling the strain. I need potting soil <laughs> and a defibrillator. But we have a plan. How are we getting this done? Gun show. To take this Beacon Hill roof from down in the dumps to the heights of perfection. Perfect! We'll build a modular kitchen unit with stone countertop. This stone is very unique. Add custom mosaic tiles. This is funky cool, baby. And a water nice. feature. This is all the new world, and this is the old world coming together. A celebration will be in order. Merry Christmas! If we finish. I'll never want to do that again. When your kitchen, spa, or den is tired, why not take it outdoors? <laughs> I'm Dean. Because I can't feel my right arm. <laughs> I'm Derek. Is that right arm or right arm? And in just three days, we want to take the indoors out. We're in Boston, Massachusetts with the Ackworths. Bank executive Maddie and mosaic tile design firm owner Ted own a beautiful but challenging historic townhouse. It's an old house, about 156 years old now. It's in the heart of Boston in Beacon Hill. It's a beautiful place to be. It's extremely convenient to the city uh, compared to your average, I think, suburban American home. McMansion, it's nothing like that at all. It is a tight, urban, uh, vertical living. We need space to just chill. And that's not the TV room, that's not um, the living room. There was no backyard or side yard to expand into. The only place to go is up. There we go, up the uh, submarine. I feel like portal. a little boat. <laughs> you can do it, Dean. Look at this. How cool is this, huh? <laughs> um, th we have never worked in a space like this. And look, your right. neighbors are all around you. Yeah. Everyone's got different, you know, elevated rooftops and different styles. Right. And, yeah. and those are our neighbors, too, actually. Yeah, right. Hi. Hey, guys. <laughs> How are you? It's pretty hard to get a plate full of food, some steaks for the old barbecue, right. the oh, kid, yeah. and come up through that. Because the two kitchen's floors where? Up. Two it's two floors, floors down. down. Right? Yeah, my company makes a... Uh, uh, custom tile mosaics. So one element uh, I'd like to integrate as part of uh, to the ambiance would be some custom tile mosaics to make the space more artistic oh, and more beautiful. We have yet to have any kind of mosaic in either of our homes. So I'm really excited to have a mosaic installation in my own home. And yoga. I want to do my yoga up here. And um, oh. so. So we plan to create a peaceful and functional mosaic rooftop lounge. We'd like to provide easy access to the roof by covering the hatch with a head house. We'll add tranquility with the water feature and style with illuminated mosaic tiles. A modular kitchen unit, furniture, and plants finish the space. If this is kind of like the inside of a ship, and I'd like every little foot to count to kind of keep the space right. as big as we can keep it. But That's why he's working. You're with working us. with us. Sorry, you Absolutely. can't worry. You know, he's in. As much as we'd rather look at you than him, he's, he's working in. with no us. No worries, I got a two-year-old. So. All right, Maddie, you're out of here. Good luck. You guys don't have a dumb waiter, do you? Our first order of business: clearing the area with landscaper Jay Bearfield, the man with the plan. So, Jay, this is going to be easy, right, because you have a crane coming. Yeah, no, no. I, if uh, you saw the road coming in, it's too narrow for, the, for any sort of boom equipment to be able to stabilize. So how, so, how, are, we getting, how are we getting this done? Gun show. <laughs> oh, boy. Great. All right. Four All right. floors of a fire All right. escape. I'm going under. Yeah, it's right. That's right. Everybody disappears when you're trying to clear off a rooftop in Beacon Hill. Hey, I'm going back up. Dude, one flight of stairs and you're breathing like that? You know, the best part is, is we have a lot of stuff to hike up here. <laughs> you know what the worst part is? <laughs> is when the people you're working with remind you in the middle of what you're doing that what's coming up is worse. <laughs> This trap door is the only way up here. We're going to get rid of it. And we're going to create a head house. Not just like that, but quite similar to that, because we want to come up that steep stairway into here, not hit your head, and be able to come into the space very comfortably. The materials for the head house and the rest of our projects arrive. This is what it's like working in the city. One pickup truck, load it fast, and get it out.
75. 75 coming up. 75. 74, 15, 16, hot. 74, 15, 16. Anaconda Pana. Anaconda Pana. These guys don't remember that, Derek, but that would be a Three Stooges. That's right. So this is how this job is going to go. These two pieces took 11 minutes to, to get done to bring up here, and we're gonna be here till midnight every night. As we frame the head house, we're also turning wasted space into usable space. We've got limited space here, so the kitchen area is gonna be extended here over into that dead area, and we've gotta cut this railing out. Dean, don't damage the other rail. Gotcha. That's why Dean is on that end. Did you guys have damages anything? Coming up. So, guys, this is where uh, all the magic happens. With a high tech and high end element like this, top designers and craftsmen are a necessity. Who did your area? Yeah. Dean and Derek and Jay Bearfield. <laughs>
yeah, you take well, weight because yeah, you're going to support them. Exactly. It was a thick acrylic. Right. And then here we'll end up creating support structures as well as other parts of the deck where we're cutting into. This is funky cool, baby. All right. Coming up, our water feature has a split personality. This is all the new world, and this is the old world coming together. And it's not so easy to move. This is our water feature. It only weighs hundreds of pounds, and we're bringing it up the fire escape. Here we go. Oh, great. Here we go. We're in the Beacon Hill section of Boston, building a mosaic rooftop lounge for Ted and Maddie. Maddie's been down below with Sonny EJ while we work. Hello. My husband and I are both kind of type A, like to be in control, so yeah, it's a little, little tough to, to uh, not be involved in decisions. It's day two of this three-day project. In addition to the time constraints, working in the city is adding a degree of difficulty. We're starting to cut out for our tile pieces at the same time, sorry guys, we're framing over here for our kitchen. And I just heard there's a big box truck trying to go down that little street with all our plants. So guess who gets to unload the truck? We have about six to seven inches on each side, but we squeeze this box truck here. Jay, you weren't nervous at all, right? I wasn't. No. He looks a little nervous. I think he might be. All right, so we gotta unload this fast, right, before another car comes down. Exactly. Our plants have arrived. We rest our plants in the staging area below and get back to work on the roof, adding illumination to our mosaics. Wow. It Voila. Like magic. <laughs> hey, hey, Merry Christmas. Where's the beer? And we're framing the modular kitchen unit. We need to make more cuts, and I need more screws. I don't carry a poach. This is our water feature. It only weighs hundreds of pounds, and we're bringing it up the fire escape. Hey, you know what? I don't ever want to do that again. <laughs> yeah, this reclaim stuff is awesome. Oh, this is, isn't it? Great. Look at these old drill marks. Love yeah. that. This is all the new world, and this is the old world coming together. This heavy water feature is going to bow our plexiglass support, which is a good thing because the water is going to recirculate. We don't want the water going into the neighbor's windows. And Jay needs a hammer gun because this plexiglass is pretty strong stuff, huh, man? I'm going to put on my glasses. You never know what kind of plexiglass kit I can get. Look at that. Took the drill up. Now, I'm sure if Ted was here, he would say the particles in the plexiglass with the friction of the drill cause a chemical reaction where the plexiglass actually takes on characters of quartzite, which is a very hard stone. And then as you keep with the friction, the lava will explode and Jay will burn his face. That's what Ted would say. Not before it gives me superhuman strength. <laughs> Coming up. That way or that way? Or that way or that <laughs> way? Maddie finally gets to see her new space. I think she's good. OK, here we go. Yeah. But first, our mosaics are assembled by a one-of-a-kind robot that can work much faster than a human. How many individual tiles can the robot set in one hour? A, 500. B, 1,000. Or C, 3,000. The answer, when indoors out, continues. We asked how many individual tiles can the robot set in an hour? The answer is C, 
The robot can work at a rapid rate almost 10 times faster than a person. And it doesn't need to stop for breaks. Our tiles have another cool feature. They're made from recycled glass. One of several ways we're going green in this mosaic rooftop lounge. Not only do we want to have Beacon Hill's first really green roof deck with natural vegetation and all that, but actually it's going to be a carbon negative roof deck. We're bringing in a solar panel for power and lots of plants. Dino, this is a black eyed Susan without a black eye. I need potting soil <laughs> and a defibrillator. <laughs> or a low dose of aspirin. <laughs> because I can't feel my right arm. <laughs> and I know that's a sign. Is that right arm or right arm? I couldn't even say arm. <laughs> right arm? It's funny, when you're in when your heart's getting pushed, your Boston accent pops up. This is the water basin and the pump of our water feature. So the line for the pump is gonna come up through the base. Oh, and see the lights? We're repeating the same lighting design we have in the tile. We've got these spaces to support our stone because we're one at the right height. And we're gonna put plexiglass over this and then feed this into the stone. Correct. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> feed it in there. Is that your finger? <laughs> there we go. All right, so she's free. So if we could we have to work together on this. So, if you could lift it. In best view. <laughs> okay. No, no. There you go. There yep. you go. You watch that, Ted. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Good. Ah, oh, that's it. All right. That's how you keep a hose from getting crimped. All right, our lights are all set. Yeah. We're Make all sure framed in. Direction. It flows the right way, right? Yeah. All right. And I know we cut these tight. This is what you want. Look at that. Perfect. That's good. You can't tell right now, but at nighttime, this sucker is going to be glowing. Yeah. So we're going to repeat this mosaic pattern on the plexiglass. Correct. All right, we've got the holes here for the drainage. So we're going to cut these out, right? Right. Over the holes. You do thin set here, or what are you using for uh, the epoxy? We're going to use a translucent epoxy because we've got the light below. Right. We oh. want it to shine through. Yeah, that's the whole point of it. Exactly. Right. Okay. Our light and water feature pump need electricity. We're going eco-friendly for power. So this is going right on the roof? Yep, yep. And this should take care of all your power needs up here with your lights, the lights irrigation? And the irrigation, yep. So okay. that will make uh, all of our energy consumption up here on the roof. Uh, off the grid. There we Perfect. go. We have solar. Voila. We make a final push to button things up. Erecting this living wall. We're encouraging these plants, which are perennial by the way, to grow in here, climb, and create a wall that's living and private. It's gonna be gorgeous. All right, you wanna stand this one up? Yeah. We got saying. strawberries in here, right? We sure do. So this is really an edible wall as yeah. well as just a living wall. You can literally grow anything you would grow on the ground yeah. in a vertical fashion. And what's it? Is that the sage? Oh, man. Adding a new grill and furniture. Be in the up, Scotty. OK. Yes. <laughs> mine, mine, mine's broken. We can chuck it on this package. I'm not teleporting anywhere. With that, Maddie ascends to her new space. Maybe uh, have her face that way a little this more. That way. And that way or that way? Or that way? <laughs> yeah, that way. <laughs> he knows what to do. <laughs> I think she's good. OK, here you go. Yeah. Wow. It's beautiful. It's, it's perfect. Oh, it's wonderful. It's just going to be a delight to be able to entertain, which is what I wanted. I dare say there's not another rooftop in Beacon Hill that has a nope. water feature. No, nope. uh, I like that. That noise of the water? Yeah. For my yoga? It's romantic. Oh, I know. It's going to be wonderful. And we finally have a museum. Yes. <laughs> and don't forget the... Uh... And it's groovy. It's like disco. <laughs> <laughs>
I've always wanted to have a little piece of mosaic in my home, and this is more than a little. This is this is outstanding. This will come yep. will, uh, over right. time, grow into that. Absolutely. That's great. Isn't that great? Honey, would you get me a glass of wine? <laughs> <laughs> What we have now is a space, uh, a part of our house. It's awesome. We can cook here, we can entertain here, my wife can do yoga here. It's fabulous, it's beautiful. Our family and friends are going to enjoy it for years to come, many parties. I can't wait to enjoy it. Working back here. He's doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him if you're working. That's what I no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't have it like. <laughs> Three and four.